uh, Parramatta, they uh, snuck past the Bulldogs. They probably should have lost. Oh. The NRL came out and said the Montoya try was a try. They've they've been poor, man, Parramatta. They've been scraping through with wins. You don't notice it. They're still second, 20 points, one point behind Penrith. Look, But, man, have they been playing good, honestly? Because I, I don't y- think they Some have. weeks, yes. Some weeks, no. Recently, I'm talking about. Recently, last <laughs> yeah, couple of weeks. They played good last week against Tigers. Yeah, but Tigers had before. injuries as well that came off. They they were Still, they, they were, play good. They play well. Like Tigers were in the game for the first twenty to thirty minutes, and then Parramatta just destroyed them. Um, but I mean, again, it's I wouldn't have if Tigers had a full team. I think that would have been would have been a hard game. Well, I for think them. that there's stuff to worry about if you're a Parramatta fan. Oh, mentally, yes. man. I'm talking about mentally. Yes. If I think if if you're asking me, is there is there worry amongst Parramatta fans? Of course there is. I mean, are they going as good you, as Penrith? You shouldn't be going. You shouldn't be going. Oh, uh, no. Obviously, you can't say that they are because not. Penrith are being more convincing. But people are going to say. But people are going to say, "Oh, look!" But they're winning. You know, they're winning ugly. They're learning how to win, but they're barely scraping through. Remember the Newcastle game? Yeah. So, <laughs> winning ugly is fine, as long as it's not a habit, because winning ugly is something that you'd want on an off day, which happens once every five, once every four or five weeks, right? You don't want to be winning ugly two out of three games consistently because then what's, ha- what's going to happen is you're not going to get that lucky every single time. You're going to get – I mean, if we're going to be honest, that Bulldogs – one, that Bulldogs try was a try, and two, Aiden Tolman, quick tap, you should be dropped this week. Please Who? don't start. Please don't start me on that. That was – I don't, people say, oh, he saw something. <laughs> what the hell did I'm he gonna say? Make, I'm gonna look what at the, the hell cam- was I'm that? Gonna, I'm going to look at the camera and explain something, right? Aiden Tolman can take a quick tap. I can have a cup of coffee, finish that coffee, and still be able to tackle Aiden Tolman. That's how slow he is, okay? He, <laughs> is, he was never scoring there. He was never scoring there. And who... Jackson, if he's the actual captain, if he's, like, really, he's really... Legitimately what, he's supposed, the captain. Yeah, he should have... Like, told Tolman, don't ever do that again. He'll do not get rid of you. That well, he got, he That's got not his role. Your your role as a number eight is not to take a quick tap 10 metres out. Like, that is the, not see your the thing, role. See, the thing is, the Bulldogs, if they were a better team, <coughs> if it was a better team in that situation, they would have overrun Parramatta. But we're not as good, right? The Bulldogs are not as good. So they needed to, they needed to level it up to put them under pressure as well, Parramatta. That's exactly right. Do you know what you I mean? To like, put them under pressure. You needed to give uh, Kieran Foran... Because Bulldogs were starting to win the field position game. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. So they needed to give Kieran Foran a chance to slot that field goal. Um, and they didn't. Like the, the, Bulldog, like the Bulldogs, they, they copped... <laughs> a, like towards the end of the game, they copped a lot of uh, waves of attack from Parramatta, but... They, they were never going to score. You know, the Bulldogs were on in defence. So that's what the, that, that was a sad thing for them. But anyway, like back to Parramatta. Honestly, I think they might have peaked. I'll be honest with you. I think they might have peaked already. This week's going to tell a lot against the Sharks, who are in form. They've been playing well. But honestly, I think Parramatta, man, um, like I know they're missing Madison, but what else? What is the other excuse? The King's there. King Gutho's there. Hey, Mitchell Moses he is had there. A blind on, what the hell have they been doing? He had a blind on. Hey, no, nah, hey, you know what? Come we've on, man. To, we've got to say it. On the weekend, in the first half, for at least, Mitchell Moses for thirty and, minutes and, and Gutho played good for thirty minutes. It was the Bulldogs. <laughs> you know what? You know what? If you're look, look, one he, thing uh, we uh, can't criticize Gutho about is he's probably got one of the best hands in league. <sighs> Mate, he catches he it like, a, like, like an under six, mate. He's regardless, like even though even like the low balls, like come the ones on. that come low, he just come doesn't on, drop them. Come on, man. Um, Listen, man, I have a I, thing, I, yeah? I, 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 I was trying to say, I have a saying, yeah? If you lose to the Bulldogs, all right? They should have lost. You, I'm saying, if you lose to the Bulldogs, you, you're not, prem- not going to win the premiership. You write yourself off. Newcastle lost to the Dogs, you're not winning the premiership. Parramatta should have lost. I, I can't write them off now, officially. But they're close, man. They're very close. But Bulldogs are playing well. I don't care. It's the Bulldogs. They're they're the worst. It's the worst it's Bulldogs true. team. It's true. It's the worst Bulldogs team in a long time. <laughs> it's true. Parramatta shouldn't have lost or shouldn't have even got. You should not struggle. Putting your posi- putting yourself in a position to lose against. You the should not Carolina. struggle against the Bulldogs. If you're yeah. a pre- if you're a Premiership contender, you should not struggle <laughs> against a team like the Dogs. They're not a Premiership contender, according to me. But no, but their fans expect the Premiership. They they've, they've been, been expecting it for no no but no no. What, what I'm what, saying is no no. What I'm saying is you know no not yet not yet. What are we on now? 30, 34. 34, wow. Not yet. Nearly. No, but what I'm saying is we know the expectation is for them to win a premiership. 
as in from the media, they're building it up. The fans, they really, you know, they're hoping and wanting it. But uh, again, mentally, I don't think they're there yet. I just don't think they're there. I'll tell you one thing: if Junior Polo is injured, Pam oh, it's a massive way. loss. He's there, but he's there. I Look, said it. I, how Dylan many Brown w- and Junior Polo. How, how many weeks ago did I say um, Junior Polo? Did you see his offloads yeah, in yeah, that yeah. game? That, but that was the only like that was a point of attack for them. He, he got the Lebanese prince over too. <laughs> Get out of here, man.